We welcome you to Consumer Times channel here we bring different issues for the benefit of society as well as a prize government if you like these issues please comment like and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and share this video this might benefit someone and motivate our team to bring more videos leaders from the G7 agreed for close collaboration with developing countries to boost clean energy and resilience through new initiatives comprising its commitment for just energy transition partnership with india they have committed to achieving a fully or predominantly decarbonized electricity sector by 2035 recognizing that emissions from coal power generation as the single biggest cause of global warming while the g7 countries which consume close to 1 billion tons of thermal coal annually did not specifically mention a 2030 coal phase out date A predominantly a fully decarbonized power sector by 2035 implies a 2030 coal phase out according to IEA's net zero by 2050 report consuming 1 billion tons of coal annually is about 16% of global thermal coal consumption and about the same as the total thermal coal consumed by India Indonesia and South Africa combined So the implications of 2035 power sector decarbonization means phasing out coal power in G7 and EU member countries would avoid 1.9 billion tons of CO2 emissions annually which is more than the combined total CO2 emissions from all Southeast Asian countries The G7 an informal grouping of 7 of the world's advanced economies Canada France Germany Italy Japan the UK The US and the European Union called for opening up gas investments to help lessen dependence on Russian energy. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz had invited Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi along with Argentina, Indonesia, Senegal and South Africa to the 2022 summit as partner countries. While opening up gas investments could have been the headline, it was the leader's decision led by German Chancellor Scholz to open up space for gas investments in the name of energy security in the face of the Russian war in Ukraine in the face of their own energy crisis the leaders chose to stress the important role increased deliveries of lng can play and acknowledge that temporary investment in this sector is necessary in response to the current crisis despite the bloc stressing the temporary nature of this move it could lock in emissions for decades placing climate commitments under threat while taking too long to address Europe's short-term energy needs. Italy's suggestion for a cap on the price of oil did not succeed, and the leaders also failed to commit to phasing out coal by 2030. The Elmo summit did, however, commit to a highly decarbonized road sector by 2030 inches and a fully or predominantly decarbonized power sector by 2035. Russian thermal coal exports accounted for 21% of the total 175.37 million tons of seaborne thermal coal imported by G7 plus EU countries in 2021. The G7 further stressed its commitment for just energy transition partnerships (JETP) with India, Indonesia, Senegal, and Vietnam. especially in light of the partnership initiated with South Africa at COP26 building on these important steps we underscore our commitment to country led partnerships in close dialogue with interested partner countries aligning with existing initiatives and using existing coordination mechanisms said the G7 communique we thank you a lot if you like our effort and please don't forget to comment like Share and do not forget subscribe YouTube channel and comment on this video and suggest us more topics send your suggestions so that our team can cover can also join our team be happy and healthy best of luck